Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to Conquistador, or Expeditions to Conquistador. I love these guys in the front, they're like, oh crap, what the fuck is going on? Oh shit, bro, no. How y'all doing? Um, I'm just waiting for the game to load. I just wanted to share the loading screen with you. I'm like, that's how, actually, loading screens look really nice. I love the job the guys who uh, made this game, or guys and ladies, did on it. Uh... All right, so we're trying to get back. We got the magic mushrooms from um, the witch doctor. Oh, I guess we're camping. I thought I did that last time. I don't think anybody's injured. Do I have any equipment to give out? No. Is I going to upgrade anybody? I think I was going to upgrade Zaraga once I had enough points to. Because I want him to be able to... Um, I want him to get the better. I, I want him to get like the better camp, so we can have even more morale. So let's uh, let's camp everybody. Tell Ghostfire stories. Ghostfire stories. There was a ghost on fire. Ah, burning, burning down the house. All right. Um, can we go there? Thank you. So we gotta take back the magic mushroom powder. Um, and they're going to supposedly make a medicine that we can give to the bishop. I hope this is the right village. I'm pretty sure it is. So let's click on magic flower. Check that out on the way out. You return to the fishing village and find Adel's hut still empty. After asking around, you locate him at the shore in the middle of attending to a jellyfish-related injury. Don't pee on it. It's like I'm gonna... He stands up and he notices. Senor, you still live. Have you visited Orocobobix? Uh, yeah, we got what we came for. I can handle my drugs, bitch. And the shaman, did he survive your encounter? Yeah, he's alive, don't worry. Do I look like I would murder people just because they're different from me? Just because I want what they have? Don't answer that, uh, witch doctor dude. <laughs> I might. Ethel fixes... You with an appraising look for a few months, they nods. Good. He was out of his mind, but he used to be a good man. Many of us here owe him our lives. Dude, he's just a fucking drug addict up in the hills. Hand Adel the powder you got from or Here's the powder, dude. You press a pouch of powder into his hand, and he opens it to have a look. Uh, let's see. I should ask him if he wants to come to Santa Domingo. With come, come with me to Santa Domingo. You can examine the powder on the way. He glances at your people. Are you sure the members of your expedition would approve? I don't give a fuck if they do. I care about one thing. Gold. Uh, Pilar Palencia hisses loudly enough that Adel can't miss it. No, we damn well won't. Um, are you saying you're racist, Pilar? I think you are. But you know what? You can find a way to fucking live with it. He scratches his head. I am needed here. Fuck you! I just went out on a line for you with one of my friends. Alright. She's an asshole anyway. I like her, but she's an asshole. So, uh, yeah. Uh, it's only one trip across the island and back again. I'm gonna get your wor worth your while. Yeah, Pilar's mad because she's racist, I guess. You let Edel debate... The pros and cons of your suggestion with himself for a while, but in the end he accepts on the condition that he's free to leave and return to the village once your business is concluded. Ah, don't worry, but fuck, I'm not gonna make you a slave. What if I click on that? Um, let's go find the chief. Um, you seem quite young to be a chieftain. Our oh, our chief died a short time past. I'm a living child. Oh, I'm sorry to hear your dad died. They lead me to the edge of the village where I can trade. See, they have a low supply of medicine. We're finally getting some medicines. I'm not selling them after what happened before. They have a low supply of money, but a normal supply of that. So they should be able to sell us food at a decent price? No? I want to buy those, but they're going to be expensive. We'll buy a tiny bit of rations. So let's look at our group. Uh, where's uh, the new guy? Here he is. He's a shaman recruit. I'm not giving him any of my equipment. <laughs> we can use him in fights, apparently. He's a healer of a small fishing village on the northeast coast of Hispaniola. He possesses a biting, sarcastic witch wit. 
which is his wife, which he likes to exercise whenever possible. Despite his reservations towards the Spanish, he is compelled to aid anyone in need, regardless of their ethnicity. Good for him. Um, oh, we can make Zaraga improved. I'm going to do that in a moment. And her morale went down because I, because she is, she is racist. And fuck you, Pilar. I'll have whoever the fuck I want in my thing. So, uh, where'd you go, Scou uh, Zaraga? All right, let's upgrade you. I really don't care. You're never gonna fight. Um, I'll give you walk your shots. I guess you'll shoot too sometimes. We're gonna move your tinkering up to 10, max that up, and then I guess we'll put up your herbalism. And you don't need no equipment. So that's good. And that will mean that, um. See? Oh, we can't do the camp thing while we're in town. Alright, we got our rope. Now I can get that up. <laughs> I can get it up. Um. You know what, Zaraga? I really don't care about the axe thing. We'll unassign you from it. You can finish it later. Get the magic tent. When we do that, we can have even more morale, more morale, because people will be like, these tents are boss, yo. Because that's how they talk. And then later on, we can get the fancy cart so we can move faster. Oh, speaking of which, uh, where's that guy? Let's see, he's good at, oh, he's good at uh, messing around with herbs. All right, can we make you, um... Oh, you don't want to help with that? Suck a dick. Don't want to help with that. Can't believe him. Ooh, herbs! All right, okay, we got to camp. The patrols return empty-handed, but at least our defense is held up. We got a shitload of money. At least it seems like a shitload to me. It's more than I got in real life. Sweet. And we want the delicious piggy meats. That's what the red thing is. Oh, where are you, piggy? Little peckery. You eat that when you're peckish, you noms. Actually, while we're doing that, can you, um... Yeah, we'll have you preserve the meat. Okay, you suck at that. You're gonna hunt. <laughs> we'll have, uh, Raphael preserve the meat. And we gotta find a way south. I guess we'll just head straight south. Oh, I'm gonna save the game a second. <laughs> Don't really do that off screen. Now I feel like a dork. Okay, let's uh, maybe we can fit through, fit through the pass there. Oh, that's unnecessary. Yeah, follow the road. Sweet, the road of treasure. Next time we camp, too, after the doctors made the uh, herbs into shit, we'll see if we can build some more, um, uh, I don't know, what do you call them? I can't think of the name of them. We could build some more uh, barricades. We could definitely use some more of those. Let's see, how did our patrols do? Uh, we lost 10 metal while people slept. Well, since we don't really use it, that's not a big deal. Ride, ride, ride. To the jittery forest. Okay, do we follow the road here or just go straight south? Okay, we gotta go straight south. Clip, clop. Sweet, look at all this shit. Oh, there's treasure. Fuck yeah! And to think somewhere there are rebels out here. I wouldn't leave my box full of treasure just laying around. That's all I'm saying. If you have a box full of treasure, I would recommend you don't either. Okay, uh, you can go to, um... You can go back to hunting, dude. My treasure! Scrooge McDuck would like that. I want to sing the DuckTales song, but I can't remember. Oh, there we go. Race cars. 
like, oh, something aeroplanes. It's a uh, duck blur. I solve a mystery or rewrite history. Oh man, ducktails. Woo woo. Every day we're out there making ducktails. They should play that at my funeral. Would that be inappropriate? <laughs> I used to watch that all the time when I was younger. Uh, not funerals, but, you know. So we got a bunch of meat. Doctor. Doctor, I got the news. Go build some barricades for us, butt fuck. Hey, Gabriella, you can preserve some meat. That seems nice. Let's see, your camp holds up. The patrols come back empty-handed. Uh, we gain 10 rations from preserving stuff. Man, after all like the fighting we did before, it's so quiet now. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, Don Quixote sleeps tonight. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like that was hot. You're welcome, ladies. There's more of that on my music channel. They're like, let me know what it is so I can avoid it. Oh. It's kind of how my sex life works, too. Let me know where it is so I can avoid it. Oh, <laughs> hunting. You keep working on that. Sweet camp. Not much meat. We gained more valuables. We stole them from a hut or something. From an abandoned hut. We're just thieves. That's really all we are. Look at all the valuables we got. 15,000. I don't know what that buys back in the old world, but I assume a lot. Hopefully a lot. We could use some more equipment, though. We got quiet in the jungle. That means there's a lion around. Ooh. Want this? Do you know how many lions there are in uh, Haiti? We gotta go get that. Ooh, well, actually, we're gonna go get Mr. Animal first. Try resource gathering this episode. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Pig. Your wife's gonna be in widow now. It's not what I wanted. It's what I wanted. Half of my letters on my keyboard are worn off because I use them so much. Like the C is, I must type cunt a lot. Fucking cunts. Um, Gabriella, you preserve. We'll camp again. Not getting much meat. I guess part of it is because I'm having people uh, preserve them. New guy's not really helping. I guess I should have had him doing herbalism all the time. It's your new job. Almost made them camp again. Okay, we explored this. Touch it. Chart the outskirts. Did we finish that? I don't even know what the journal one is. I had a cheat sheet I made for the keyboard. Oh, it's L for log, I guess. So, chart the outskirts. Oh, that's not even done yet. We've got all these that are partly done. How much you bet we go back to Santa, Santa Domingo and tell the governor, hey, Esteban's coming and he's just going to be like, uh, I can't do anything. I'm a pussy. Why don't you do it for me? Pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Those are going to be his exact words, too. I swear it. Um, this must be the jungle. I mean, the way through the jungle, obviously it is the jungle. <laughs> Carlos is like, I think this is the jungle. Sir, we've been in the jungle for 103 days. Well done. <laughs> so let's camp. Man, not got much meat. Ooh, there's some meat up there. We will eat you up, Mr. Piggy. Thank you. Thank you. The nice thing about this, though, is um, we're really doing a good job of just being self-sufficient. Preserve some meat. I'm just waiting to get jumped. Oh, shit. <laughs> I gotta go east. Wait, like, how far east do I go? I think I can go that way. We're going to camp, though. 
Let's see, our camp defenses hold up. Our patrol brought back some salvageable iron. Are we working on barricades? Oh, I think we are. Good. I'm guessing that if next time we fight the rebels, we might need some of that stuff. Aren't you going to be amazed if I'm going the right way? I believe I am. Check it out. I'm kind of going the right way. <laughs> it was... It was closer. It was closer. Mr. Piggy Meat. Ah, we gotta camp again. Who's preserving? Sweet, we got extra meat. Meat party. Somebody steal some of our shit? Oh, somebody stole some oil. Well... They want to oil stuff up, go for it. They're like, I need some lube. It's time for a jungle masturbation. Oh, Don Quixote, don't mount that pig. That's wrong. We have little horse piggies everywhere. Pretty sure that's not good. All right, so let's get inside. Oh, we're going to have to do that next time. We have to camp right outside. Uh, all right, let's um, preserve some more meat. Let's go inside and let's go talk to the preacher dude. Oh, actually, before that, we'll set the camp thing back up. Can I? Oh, we can't hear. Since we got the medicine for the bishop, we'll do that first because he was cool to us. Again, Hermano Caro personally greets you outside the cathedral to lead you inside. So urgent is concern for the bishop, he doesn't even notice out until following closely behind you. You find the bishop still in his bed, looking incrementally worse than last time. Uh, I have bad news. Hermano Pedro Bermudez is dead. And he pulled his eyes out. Ain't that creepy? I think it is. Harold's eyes widen and he covers his mouth with his hands. He looks at you but says nothing. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned him ripping his eyes out. Uh, I brought back a remedy from the village which is said to have cursed ailments. Much like the bishops in the past. Or cured ailments. That's a different word altogether. Uh, poor Pedro. Poor Pedro. Uh... Hey, this dude, my friend, administer the remedy. Carol jumps between the bishop and Aldo, raises his arm. No, you will not touch the bishop. Come on, this guy knows what he's doing, dude. Uh, do not let this heathen touch Bishop Garcia. What are you thinking? This is Aldo, a medicine man from the North Coast. He knows this remedy better than any of our doctors. Let him work if you want the bishop to live. The bishop's rasping voice emanates from somewhere between the pills. I will surrender my life to the Lord rather than you... Put my soul in the hands of a heathen. Oh, that guy came all the way from butt fucky up north. I ought to let him die for it, but fine, I'll apply the remedy myself. I would be like, the Lord works in strange and mysterious ways. Maybe he's working through this other guy. Just take it, idiot. You administer the fungal remedy according to Alt's vague instructions, and a subtle effect is immediately observed. The bishop, cal bishop calms and his breathing steadies. Dr. Me, the bishop must stay in bed and rest. Hopefully he will regain his health soon. The monk nods and gratefully shakes your hand. Thank you for your invaluable help, Capitan Duck Sakaro. I've collected donations from our congregation as a display of our eternal gratitude. 2,000, holy shit. He hands you a sack full of valuables. Thanks. The pious and the greedy ones have gained morale. Infected mushrooms. Well, um... Ooh, we're gonna grab this while we're here. Ooh, and there's a piggy out there? I'll grab that too. I mean, after all, if the stupid governor can dick around while rebels are coming, why can't we? Okay, I want Mr. Piggy. Eh? Man, that bishop was an idiot. If the guy can help you, let him help you. I don't care if he's of a different religion. He's like, I'm ready to die. Yeah. I guess it's a good thing we saved him, though. We got, like... We got, like, two grand. And in the end, isn't the important thing that we get money. We will have uh, you help preserve. We'll camp once out here. And then I think we're going to go inside and... Uh, let's see, how are we doing time-wise? I don't want to go over. I've been going over on episodes lately. I guess this one's going to go over, too. 
All right, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna go talk to the governor. Actually, we might check the um, we might check the uh, marketplace first. Oh wait, and we gotta go talk to that guy over there because we found his dead wife. That's oh the freaking gates! Quit that. The gates are like. Woo -doo, woo -doo, woo -doo. Um, no. I, if we wanted to sell stuff for money, it would be good, but I don't want to sell any of our food or medicine, so. Let's go talk to this guy. We've got bad news for him. You take a deep breath and knock on the door to Marin Chocobo's house. He answers the door with a strange yet familiar mixture of worry and hopeless hopefulness on his face. Though his hope is immediately reduced by the lack of his wife in your company. I'm a, oh man, this sucks. I'm afraid I have some bad news, Senor Chocobo. The man says nothing. He simply stares at you. His face frozen somewhere between disbelief and horror. We gotta give him his medallion. Your wife was killed in the mountains. Natives ambushed her parole. Her patrol. There were no survivors. For a moment, you think he's gonna break down and cry, but he barely recovers and rebuilds his composure with obvious effort. Thank you, Captain. I, I can stop worrying now. Start grieving. I'm going to give him the medallion. You dig Luisa's medallion out of your pack and hand it to the widower. He clenches in his hand but doesn't open it. I'm a wealthy man, Capitan. You deserve a reward for giving me the closure that I needed to move on. My servants will bring the treasure to your caravan. With my eternal gratitude. Now if you excuse me, I... I'm going to be nice and put a hand on his shoulder. Just because I'm bloodthirsty and mean doesn't mean I might not want to get a wife at some day. I mean, Carlos Dicksucker, that is. Uh, Chocobo finally breaks down at your display of sympathy and quickly spins around to conceal his sorrow from you and his men. He puts up a hand in a weak show of gratitude and runs back into his house, closing the door tenderly behind him. The end. Well, that was bitter, but we got 800. It's amazing all the blood that is spilled. Mostly by us. I guess next time we'll go talk to the governor. It took us forever to get here. Next time we'll go talk to the governor, and then hopefully that means we'll fight the rebels. Or knowing him, he'll tell, tell us to go to Cuba or something and be like, go to Cuba, get me a glass unicorn and come back. Whatever. See you next time!